Here we are, folks. I'm back. Got a water jug. Got a big Sharpie. I'm going to draw some lines. So I like having the extra fold. I feel like for me personally in creating a box, it just goes together better with that. And the one thing that I've learned in creating things that are three dimensional is you can always cut more off. Just like when you're drawing, you can always add more lines and erase what you make mistakes on. Anybody remember the book of mistakes? Some of us got to read this before we got dismissed. However, we're not gonna spend our time doing that today. We're gonna make some mistakes or work through them if we make them. I'm going to be using this and this. I know that many of you don't trust your line work. What can we use as a tool to make a straight line to guide things? Well, it just so happens you know what that is. And unfortunately, I can't hear you if you're calling it out. So I'm just gonna show you. It's a tool, my friends, not a toy. If I have a ruler, I can make a straight line. If I hold it with one finger, will it hold it down? It'll go like this. Woo! That's not what I'm looking to do. So. <laughs> That's not working out at all. There is a seam. There is a seam right here. You cannot see it. You'll be able to see it on your milk jug though. This is the handle. I don't want a long line on the handle. This is that seam. This is a flat side. I have all this side. This is the side that I'm going to have that's the long part that folds over. I'm going to go to the seam one more time. How could I make sure that I did that line in the same place? I can use my ruler. That way I make certain that it is correct. I can make a straight line that way. if I don't trust my lines or if I'm worried about making a mistake. A lot of times, if you're worried about making a mistake, it's because you want to get it over with real quickly. But if I have my imagination, then I can continue to add or change or modify and it only gets better. Oops. Okay. I officially have all of that drawn out. It's time to cut. I will figure out how to make this, not do this in and out so much, but I, I, I'm not certain how to make that happen. Thanks for bearing with it. Okay, I had scissors right here. I'll be right back.
We're ready. <laughs> I have my scissors. Notice, if I need to walk around with scissors, I'm not gonna be walking around like this. How many times do I have to tell you? You hold these scissors just like this is how it's safe for you. Just kidding. Y'all ready now? My bad, my bad. To create the puncture space for me to cut this plastic, I need a hole. Um, I can add it anywhere. A safe place is best. You might need help for this. This is going to be a similar hole to like when we uh, made holes in the egg. Same, same um, method. You are wielding a tool, not a toy. I'm going to do my best to make certain that I cut this on camera so you can see how I go about cutting this. What I would like you to note right now is I am simply cutting to where I have my drawn edges. So this is not a pretty cut. I mean, it's kind of neat. It looks like a shark's tooth. I technically really want to make the rest of the shark teeth. So I'm going to make a zigzag pattern because I think that that is a happy accident. Okay, so. Yeah, that's a happy accident. This treasure chest might have monster teeth. Don't touch my treasure. <laughs> Ah, that's so cool. Okay. Oh, okay. I went in a little bit further than my line. Um, going a little bit freestyle here. Hope that looks right when this is completed. I don't know if you can see the water that is draining out of this while I cut it, but that's why I was laughing. <laughs> Itch. Ha. Huh. You really want to make certain that this is clean with soap and water before you do this. Because if for some reason this water liquid spills on you and it is stinky rotten milk, you're not gonna be happy and you might get upset about doing this project. So make certain that your milk jug and the materials that had food in them previously are clean. You don't want, you don't want to be making any new biology experiments right now. I mean, mold is a very beneficial bacteria sometimes, but not something I suggest making right now. Sorry. I'll get back to uh, cutting on camera. As I do this, just water just continues to, <laughs> to drip out. Um, make certain to do it in the space you can clean up. Now I am continuing to do this zigzag pattern uh, so that I can have monster teeth because this treasure chest is going to be guarded by a mysterious monster. I made that face because it was difficult to turn the scissors at the angle that I needed so I could cut on this line straight. I want to also point out that my hand is over here and I know that it's over here so that I can cut this line. Do not cut your fingers. Know where your hands are.
I am almost all the way around. I'm cutting over the next seam. I'm taking it slow. I'm being aware of where my hand is in relation to my scissors. Mindfulness. Be aware of your surroundings. Okay. I am ready to unveil to you. Look at this coolness. Okay. Um, we are going to cut the seams so that we can fold over. I would like you to be able to have this type of fold. The way that your box turns out is yours, creator. I'm just showing you what I am choosing to do. Remember, it can be a lot cleaner. It does not have to be a monster box, but it can be. Imaginations are so much fun. And you don't have to give it away to anyone. I am cutting on my seam. It's real sturdy. Pay attention when you cut the seam. If you can't see this very well and you decide to draw a marker on that seam so you can cut it, do it. last seam. I told you to be careful. I think I should probably be careful too. <laughs> All right then. I think that the last seam might be the hardest to cut because my, um, because my plastic integrity is no longer sturdy <clears throat> so I'm having increasing difficulty getting to my intended space okay last line dun 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 dun, dun. take your time when you cut the line all right I've got one side folded, one side folded, one side, two sides folded, three, oh, I don't want your bands, and the teeth, oh, <laughs> oh I'm going to paint this, yes, look at that, look at that, da, 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 da. <laughs> I like that a lot. Okay. There's a few things that I have to add to be able to keep it buttoned down. Um, that is going to be a hole here and an attachment hole up here. If I put a hole close to the edge, what's going to happen if I put pressure on it? just like paper, it's gonna rip. And if it rips, I won't be able to have it hold anything. So you need space around a hole. Figure out where's a good spot. Mark that spot. Marker. Yeah, that'll do. And then I'll need another one up here too. You want it to line up? Do your best.
making another hole just like the one that I made so that I could start but it doesn't need to be big it can be very small so I don't even have to open up the scissors this time I got out something specific for safety to make it so that if you are not comfortable with digging inside something, you can dig inside something. So many steps. I wanted to be honest with you that you can totally use a hammer and a nail. It's a great way to make a hole. You don't want to put this on a table. You need to put it on a piece of wood that you don't, that you're not going to get in trouble for hammering on. Wood. A lot of times as a kid, I would use the dirt outside because I didn't have scrap wood. But I had a hammer and a nail and it made a lot of holes for me so that I didn't have to wield scissors in an unsatisfactory way. I'll be putting holes in this. I'll be putting holes in the tin can lids. I will be putting holes in shapes. And I will be showing those to you in the next video. I would like for you to figure out how you would like to finish this. There will be pictures. I have faith in you. Use your imagination. Have some fun. String in there. Not. button. Same string. Not. I have extra string. I have extra string on purpose. Because I can always take away. With additive sculpture, you can't add it back on after you cut it off. With additive sculpture, you cannot add it back on if you cut it off. unless you're welding. Let me see what you make. We'll talk more.